I don't actually know why it's taken me this long to do an ASOS haul. I'm really not an ASOS girly, like I have to be honest, I'm really not an ASOS girly. I just find the website a bit overwhelming. However, you ask, and I will provide. We are here with an ASOS haul. I don't know what it is, but I just find when I shop on that website, I can't pick anything. I'm really overwhelmed. There's too much choice. However, I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I went on the ASOS website the other day. Like, I had so much stuff in my basket hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another haul and like i said you ask and i provide i am here with an asos haul for the asos girlies this is a haul for the cool girls like look at this selection right here this is a haul for the cool girls if you're not a cool girl please keep scrolling but if you are a cool girl welcome to the party i'm gonna jump straight into it because i'm really excited to show you what i picked up before we do please 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 don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here. And yeah, let me know what hauls you want to see next. More ASOS vibes or whatever you want to see, girls. Let me know. You cannot go wrong with a graphic oversized tee. Like, I'm wearing a graphic oversized tee right now. I love them all year round. Summer, winter, rain, shine, whatever it is, you best believe I'll be wearing an oversized graphic tee. This one is definitely given more summery vibes, but I would definitely wear this all year round. Like, with a pair of jeans, with a pair of leggings, like, I would just throw it on for comfort. This is in this gorgeous green colour. I absolutely love this colour. I feel like I don't own enough clothes in this colour. Like, this is such a gorgeous emerald green colour. And you've got your slogan print on the front. It just says Palm Beach, Florida, with a cute little palm tree on there. This was actually in the ASOS design range, so it was actually a little bit more on the affordable side. And I just think it's so versatile. Like, dress it up, dress it down, wear it with, like, a little mini skirt, dress it up, wear it with just, like gym leggings dress it down like you can just throw it on for so many different occasions and i just really like the colorway i really liked the pink and the green combined i got this one in a size medium because it did already say it was slightly oversized but it didn't like look really really oversized on the model and i really like my t-shirts to be like tense so i did actually get this one in a medium it does look a little bit big a little bit bigger than I was expecting it to, but I still think it will be fine. If you do like your t-shirts oversized, I still think you would be fine sizing up. You'd probably be fine in your own size as well. So if they don't have one size up, I think you would be fine in both sizes, just depending how oversized that you like it. This is the size medium in the t-shirt, and I do feel like maybe this is a little bit too big for some people. I do really like my t-shirts oversized, so I'll be honest, I don't really mind too much. I would like tuck it up. You can always tuck it up at the side. That's a really nice little hack if you want to have that like draped feature either tuck it into like a little crop top or tuck it into your bra strap at the side there it just gives you that really nice like ruffled effect a lot of people walk around and like ruffle their t-shirts but if you actually just tuck it up it ruffles it for you if you know what i mean that is a good little hack that i always use i really like the print of it i really love the contrast of like the green and the pink i think that's really really nice if i was to order it again i probably would order it in the small but the fact that i've got the medium i'm not entirely mad at it like i say i would definitely still wear it you can also, another little hack, tuck it up at the back as well. So just tuck up the centre in the back and then it gives you that more draped effect at the front. If you feel like it's just drowning you and looking a little bit too oversized, if you just do that little trick at the front, you do get like a lot more of like a layered, ruffled effect, if that makes sense. But you can't go wrong with a slogan t-shirt, girls. Like you literally cannot go wrong with an oversized slogan t-shirt. Like it's never ever going to come in wrong as having as like an essential in your wardrobe. I loved it so much that I had to pick up a different style. And I actually picked up this one in a small because I wanted to see the contrast in the sizes. I wasn't sure whether I was a small or a medium. So I got one in a small and one in a medium. This is in this gorgeous bright pink colour. I love this colour of pink. It's like halfway between a baby pink and a fuchsia pink. It's a really, really nice colour. And then you've got Mexico Carbo. Well, I think that's a lime. It's like green. So I think it's a lime. <laughs> it looks like a lime. Like I say, this one is in the small and you can see that it still does look oversized. Obviously not as oversized as the medium, but I think you would be fine with either size. Like there's not too much difference in it. So that is the small and then that is the medium. So you can see the difference in the sizes. Honestly, I think you'd be fine with either. I just loved it. They had a whole range of these. Like they had loads of different colours, loads of different slogans. And obviously I couldn't get all of them. I wanted to get all of them, but I couldn't get all of them. So I just picked my favourite two and I just really liked the colour combo of these. So you can see this is how the size small fits in comparison to the size medium. I actually do prefer this size, so I do feel like with these, stick with your actual size and don't try and size up, because I think they're already oversized enough as they are. I really love the colour of this. I feel like it's really funky. Like, it's really, really nice. This would be a perfect sunbathing t-shirt. Like, bikini on underneath, 
throw this on over the top to go down to the pool, to go for breakfast, to do whatever you're doing. Like, this is perfect for being on holiday, for being in Mexico, to be honest. So, someone please, just take me to Mexico. But definitely with the sizing on this one, I think this is the correct size for me. I feel like the other one was a little bit too big now that I've tried this one on. Love, I need it in every colour and in every single slogan and style. I'm very late to the party with these, but I could not resist. If you've been watching my hauls for a while, you will know I have been in my leopard print era. I just feel like leopard print has been around all year and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. So when I seen these leopard print jeans, they were an immediate yes, immediate. I've seen a lot of people wearing leopard print jeans recently and I'm not sure if these are the ones that everyone has been wearing, but these are very, very similar to the ones that I've seen all of the girlies in. These are just a gorgeous pair of high-waisted leopard print jeans. They're in a really nice kind of washed out leopard print to make them not too bold. I mean, I say not too bold, they're literally leopard print. However, I feel like the washed out kind of distressed feature on them makes them just that little bit more subtle, like not a lot, but just a little bit. They're a wide leg, which I am all for. I love a wide leg jeans. I feel like skinny jeans are making a comeback. Skinny jeans are about to have their moment, but I'm not ready for that just yet. I'm not ready to go back to the skinny jeans. I am still very much a wide leg mom jean kind of girl. These are actually Topshop, I didn't realise. So these are Topshop, but stocked on ASOS. And I got mine in a size eight. I'm hoping these are gonna fit okay. They look really nice. They look like they're gonna fit. The quality of them feels really, really nice. And they're not necessarily something you can keep in your wardrobe forever. Like I will be honest, these are not gonna be styling forever. Like probably in a year or so, someone is gonna be like, what are those leopard print jeans in your wardrobe? However, if you are a hoarder like me and you just wait for things to come back around, these will come back around. It might take 10 years, it might take 20 years, but they will be back. So it's money well spent in my opinion. If you just hang on to things, things come back around. And it doesn't look like leopard print is going anywhere anytime soon. Like it's been a good six months and leopard print is still popping in all of the shops. So it was time for me to invest. These jeans are absolutely everything. These are my new favorite pair of jeans. I am never gonna take these off. These are the best jeans ever. They are so comfortable. You can see how much room is in the waistband there. They just feel really nice and comfortable. They're probably a little bit big, to be honest, if anything, but I just really like that slouchy, oversized vibe of them. They feel so nice and comfortable. The back of them are just like the straight leg design. They literally just go straight down at the front. They're the perfect length. I feel like jeans often on me are too long, so I am only 5'4". These are the perfect length of jeans. They're not trailing on the ground at all, to the point where actually if I put a heel on them, it might almost be a little bit too short, which I actually really appreciate in a jean because they never cater for the short girlies. I love these. I've just paired them with my trusty black Zara crop top because it just goes with everything. But I think these would just go with so many different outfits. Like, I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I'm not sending them back. I'm keeping these for the rest of my life because you all know that these will come back in fashion and my daughter in 20 years time is going to want a pair of these. And I'm going to be like, don't you worry because I've got them in the memorabilia suitcase in the garage where I can pull all of my archived outfits for you and these leopard print jeans will most definitely be in that archive. Okay, this next cord just really, really caught my eye. I thought it was so fun and I know we are coming up to the end of summer but I just thought it was really fun and I absolutely loved it. And the top did actually come with two different options so you could get the shorts or you could get the trousers. I opted for the shorts just because I'm still in my summer vibe right now. Like I really am. I'm going on holiday shortly and I'm still shopping in my summer outfits. But if you wanted something, it's not necessarily autumnal, but if you wanted something like not with shorts basically, you could opt for the trouser option to go with this as well. This is a gorgeous little red and white pinstripe crochet top. It's really, really nicely made. You can feel that the crochet feels really, really nice quality. And you've got these gorgeous little frilly straps at the top. I absolutely love those straps. I love the thick frill. I feel like that's going to be really, really flattering on. It does look like it's going to be a little bit see-through. It doesn't have any lining or anything underneath it, so you're probably going to want to do some kind of situation underneath, whether you do like a band or bikini top or whatever you want to do, but it is going to probably be that little bit see-through. I mean, not much, but just a little bit. Again, this was ASOS design, so really, really affordable as well. I feel like ASOS design actually kills it. I know that they have a lot of other brands stocked on there, but I feel like some of their stuff is actually sometimes some of the best. And then I got the matching shorts to go with that top. Like I said, you could pick the shorts or you could pick the trousers, but I really like the shorts because I think they're going to be a really nice length. Like they look like quite a long short. I hate shorts that just ride up, are so uncomfortable, like everything's on show. 
you need a really good respectable length of short in my opinion when you get a little bit older and you're just not in your teenage era anymore you feel like you need a good length short these look like they're going to be somewhere in between like a hot pant and a cycling short which i feel like is the perfect length i think we need to invent a name for that length of short like you have the hot pants you have the cycling short like what are the shorts that are in the middle we need a name for those shorts again they're in that gorgeous red and white crochet detail and then the same way that the top had like the frill on the sleeves this has got the frill all around the bottom of the shorts which i think is really really nice and they've got a really nice high-waisted thick waistband you know i love a thick waistband i just feel like it sucks you in i feel like it's really flattering and it just works for everyone i think this is going to look really really nice paired together again definitely still more of a summery vibe if you're still in your summer era i don't know summer and era summer season <laughs> then definitely more of a summery vibe but I just loved it. I think it was really nice. It's reminded me of like a sailor. I feel like this is what you would wear if you were like a sailor girl, like on a ship. I think it's cute. This is very, very cute, but unfortunately it is very itchy, like very itchy. There's some kind of weird like glue or something on this part of the arm. And oh my goodness, it is so itchy on my arms. Like it's like rubbing and it just feels awful. And it also feels quite big. The shorts feel quite big. I feel like they don't quite fit right. They just feel a bit loose. They're definitely comfortable because they are loose, but I just feel like the whole thing feels a little bit big and I cannot get over this itch on the arms. Like, what is this? There's like, can you see that? It's like some kind of weird glue or something and it's just so, so itchy. And like, I, I can't wait to get this off. I need to take it off. I feel like it looks cute. I look like a cute little sailor girl or something, but the itch, the size, everything, I need to take this off immediately. I'm sorry, this is not staying on for any longer than two seconds. The shoulders are too big as well, did I mention? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't, it's coming off, it's coming off, it's so itchy. This jacket I could not say no to. I had it in my basket and I thought I'm going to remove it because it doesn't really go with the haul. Everything's still like a little bit summery and a little bit bright. And then this just didn't really match the vibes, but I couldn't take it out. Like I took it out of my basket, I put it back in, I took it out, I put it back in and I couldn't not get this. I was literally obsessed. This is from Bershka, which is actually one of my favourite brands. I don't actually own a lot from there, but I always love all of their stuff. Like I always go on the website and go in and end up like loving everything that I see. It just, I just never get stuff. I don't know why, but apparently they stock Bershka on ASOS, which I absolutely did not know. And when I seen that this was from then, I knew it was going to be good quality. I knew it was going to be affordable and I knew it was just going to be a leather jacket that I needed in my life. All of the leather jackets that I own are like boyfriend, biker, oversized, slouchy denim jackets. And this looks like it's going to be a really nice tight fitted one, which I've definitely been seeing more people wearing these days. Like tight leather jackets, definitely making a comeback again. I used to have one way back in the day. It was an absolute fortune and I thought I was the coolest person ever and it wasn't cool. It wasn't a vibe and it was just not the one. This, however, I can definitely, definitely get on board with. I love the two zips as well. I think that's so cool. The fact that you can like zip it down at the top and then zip it up at the bottom if you wanted to. It's got a really, really nice structured collar. It feels not too heavy as well. So even though it is a jacket, it definitely feels like something you could wear around this time of year and like start to transition into your more winter jackets and your thicker jackets. This still feels like it's going to be really, really nice and lightweight and like it's not going to be too thick and too heavy for this time of year. I just think it's gorgeous. Like I imagine it paired with like a pair of jeans, just like everything really, really tight all the way down. You could even, if you wanted to, like do a full leather look and just do like leather look skinny trousers and then this on the top. I think that would look really good as well. I just think it's a really nice piece to have in your wardrobe for this kind of transitional season. And especially when all my leather jackets are like oversized and like biker jackets, this is a really nice contrast. I got it in a size small, I believe. Yeah, I got it in a small. I don't know if it's going to be fitted enough. I wanted it to be really, really tight and really, really fitted. So I don't know if maybe I should have done an extra small, but I think it might be okay. The zips, honestly, as well, the zips are such good quality. Like, I feel like that is a giveaway on a jacket if the zips are really, like, flimsy and fiddly. That looks and feels really, really nice quality. Like, it's bright, it's shiny, and you can just tell that it's been made well. I've just actually paired this leather jacket with these leopard print jeans that I had on earlier. And, oh my god. Sorry, is this not the outfit of dreams? Is this not, like, a cool girl outfit of dreams? Because I really feel like it is. The small in this jacket was absolutely definitely the right size. I think I felt like it felt a little bit big when I was holding it up and I should have got the extra small, but absolutely not. This is like skin tight on me. I wouldn't have been able to go any smaller. And if I zip it up, 
you could have like a really nice open detail like that which I think looks really nice so if you didn't want to do a top or anything underneath you could absolutely just have it like this and then have nothing on underneath if you wanted to and obviously if you wanted to wear it open and you could wear it like that as well which I think also looks really cool I love this the quality of it feels so nice it feels so comfortable like I said it is quite lightweight but definitely don't try and size down to make it tight because it is already skin tight as it is but I just think this is the coolest cool girl outfit ever like sorry tell me I'm wrong tell me I'm wrong because I don't feel like you can this skirt was actually part of a cord and you can imagine my upset when the top was sold out the queen of cords I seen this I needed it and the top was sold out in my size Let's have a moment for the top, guys. A moment for the top. I still had to get the skirt, though. I couldn't not get this skirt. I love puffball skirts at the minute. I have one from Pretty Little Thing, and I never want to take it off, to be honest. Any given opportunity to wear that puffball skirt, it's coming out. When I seen the red gingham one, I am sorry. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Because it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It really is. It's absolutely stunning. Red gingham has really made a comeback. I just feel like gingham in general has really made a comeback which never used to be my vibe, like it is given like farmer country girl, but with some cowboy boots and like a little crop top, sorry, yes, absolutely. Even with that little leather jacket, I think that would look unreal as well. It is a real shame about the matching top, like it genuinely, it's hurting a little bit, but I still think there's definitely ways that you could style this up. And you all know that my notifications are set on for the top, like I'm ready to go when that top comes back in stock. This is from a brand called Amy Lynn, which I've actually never heard of before. That is the brand. I've never heard of that before, so I'm not sure if they're like new to ASOS or they've always been stocked on ASOS, but I just loved it. It's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous little puffball. I'm not sure if it's gonna be high-waisted or low-waisted when it's on, because it does look quite short, which tells me that it might have to be a little bit lower on the waist, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna enjoy. We're gonna have to see when we try it on. I got it in a size six. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. I think it might be the only size that was left. So I was like, you know what? I'm doing it because I need it. And I just love it. And I just want to be like a cute country farm girl and wear this with some cowboy boots and just live my best life. No, I'm sorry. This is the cutest mini skirt I've ever seen in my entire life. This is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen. I've just paired it with the trusty Zara black crop top that I wear in every single haul. And I'm obsessed with this. I think it is so, so cute. It is very, very short, like very short. So if you're not comfortable with skirts this short, then this is not for you because it does sit quite high-waisted, but it is very short at the same time, and you can't actually pull it down. I mean, maybe you could if you've got a slightly bigger size, but mine actually doesn't go any lower than that, so I couldn't pull it any lower on my waist to make the length a little bit longer. So I feel like you're gonna have to have one or the other. You're gonna either have to have a bit of a baggier waist if you want a longer length, or if you want it like tight on the waist like this, then you're gonna just have to accept the fact that it is super duper short. But it is so comfortable, it's so poofy. I love how much it like poofs out and balloons at the bottom, just with any little top, but especially with the matching top that you all know is in my favorites, waiting to be purchased, just waiting patiently for me to go back and purchase her. And I think it will look stunning. I love this for holiday. This is literally going straight in my case for Rita. What do you think? I think she's cute. I think she's super cute. I actually picked up one more graphic tee as well. I just couldn't resist. Like, I just couldn't leave this one. All of the graphic tees were looking at me, and there was some that I could leave. I just couldn't leave this one. I really loved it. I love a white top. I just think white tops, they just go with everything. Like, you can just pull them out at any given opportunity. They just go with everything. They always look good. They look good in the summer. They look good in the winter. Like, you can just always count on a white t-shirt. This one, specifically, it's definitely given more summer vibes, like Malibu Beach, Surfing Paradise, California. Like, yes, please, get me there. Like, what is this UK weather? Get me to Malibu Beach immediately. But I just thought it was a nice vibe. Like, it's something you can just keep in your wardrobe. Like, it's not going to go out of fashion. It's not really a fashion piece. It's just, like, a really standard, oversized slogan t-shirt. And again, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Like, you can just do so much with t-shirts like this. And I was really impressed by the selection they had on ASOS. Like, they had so many oversized slogan t-shirts. Because sometimes it's quite hard to find them. Like, brands will sell them, but they'll be, like, a little bit cringe. Or they'll have, like, the brand name plastered all over the front, which I don't really like. And ASOS really brought through with the slogan t-shirts. Like, they had so many different options. So I thought, while I'm here, I'm going to just get a couple. I got this one in a size medium as well, so that is the same as the green one. So I got both of those in the larger size, and then the pink one in the size small. You'll be able to see in the try on clips how all of them fit, so you can decide whether you want to get your size or whether you want to size up. I would probably 
get my size in this one. This one looks quite big and quite oversized. I'm probably still going to be able to make it work. You can always tie it up or tuck it in. But if I was to buy this again, I probably would have just bought my size. So I just actually left that little mini skirt on and paired it with this t-shirt. And I actually feel like this looks kind of cool. The colours don't exactly match. Like obviously this is red and this has like a little bit of pinky red in it. So it's not an exact match. But I feel like it works quite well. I feel like it's really nice and cute and dressy on the bottom. Then a little bit more like oversized and like grungy, like cool girl vibes on the top. Just to show you the size of the t-shirt, it is pretty big and pretty oversized. You could wear it as a t-shirt dress if you wanted to. Or with jeans, obviously you could tie it up in a little knot. You could do something like that and tie it up at the front. Or you could also tie it up at the back. But I do think it looks cool with this skirt, like just draped over the top like that. I think I like the mix of like the girly and then like the grungy on the top. I think this is a cool outfit. What do you think? That is it guys, that is everything I picked up in my ASOS haul. Let me know if you want more ASOS hauls. Like I say, it's not usually somewhere that I would shop. However, I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I was browsing for this haul. So if you're in, I'm in. Like I'm ready to go with the ASOS hauls if you want more. I will leave everything linked down below in case you want to shop anything or check anything out. Thank you so, so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. While you're here, please, 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 don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.